Chromium is a chemical element in periodic table group 6 that is a strong steel gray metal that polishes well and is used in alloys to boost strength and corrosion resistance. Nicholas Louis Vauquelin, a French chemist, discovered chromium in 1797 and isolated it as a metal a year later. It was named after its multicolored compounds. Small levels of chromium cause the green color of emerald, serpentine, and chrome mica, as well as the red color of ruby. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about chromium. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Chromium is a rather prevalent element in the Earth's crust, yet it is never found free in nature. Most ores contain the mineral chromite. It is extensively distributed in natural deposits, which are typically polluted with oxygen, magnesium, aluminum, and silica. The chromium content of these deposits ranges from 42 to 56 percent. One of the most common uses for chromium is in ferrous alloys, where the pure metal is not required. As a result, chromite is frequently reduced with carbon in a furnace, yielding the alloy ferrochromium, which includes iron and chromium, in an atom ratio of about 1 to 2. To get pure chromium, chromite is first heated with oxygen and molten alkali. This turns all the chromium into alkali chromate, which is then mixed with water and forms sodium dichromate, Matu Ker207. The dichromate is then reduced with carbon to form chromium sesquioxide, Ker203, which is subsequently reduced with aluminum to form chromium metal. Chromium is added to iron and nickel in the form of ferrochromium to generate alloys with good corrosion and oxidation resistance. Chromium hardens steel when used in modest amounts. Stainless steels are chromium and iron alloys, with chromium contents ranging from 10% to 26%. Chromium alloys are used to make things including oil tubing, car trim, and flatware. Chromite is utilized as a refractory material as well as a raw material in the manufacture of chromium compounds. The metal is white, hard, glossy, and brittle, and it is exceptionally resistant to common corrosive chemicals, which explains its widespread use as an electroplated protective covering. At high temperatures, chromium combines with halogens or with sulfur, silicon, boron, nitrogen, carbon, or oxygen. Chromium slowly dissolves in hydrochloric and dilute sulfuric acids at ambient temperature. Certain oxidizing chemicals form a thin, unreactive oxide coating on the metal, making it impervious to dilute mineral acids like sulfuric, nitric, or cold aqua regia. The metal has no reaction to seawater or wet or dry air at normal temperatures. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.